This is the drawing that we used to, for our illustration exercise. So um, if you scan in one of your own illustrations and you want to then use the paint, paint brushes of Photoshop to colour it in, it's quite simple. All we need to do is make sure we have the drawing layer selected and we're going to turn the blending mode from, we looked at blending modes, bl uh, blending modes if you recall, we're going to change the blending mode from normal to multiply and multiply one is the one that makes black black and white transparent okay so um, I want to paint on a new blank empty layer so I come to the new blank empty layer icon which is the page with the corner turned up and I click and I get a new layer it's important that the drawing is always on top that is the uppermost layer and don't accidentally start painting on um, the drawing. So with the uh, uh, new layer selected and my paintbrush tool, if I come and get a colourful address now, I can just start to paint, making sure I'm painting on the layer, not on the drawing. Command plus to zoom in. If I get the space bar, it gives me the hand tool. If I press the space bar, can you see I can move this around then? And then I can continue to paint. So I'm I'm working with a Wacom, which makes this much easier than doing it with a mouse. But obviously you, you can do this with a mouse if you're careful. Well, I won't do this too carefully, but because you don't want to spend hours just sitting watching me colouring stuff in. But you can see that, that this is the idea, this is how it works, quite simply. You paint on an empty layer and the drawing is see-through. So you can't damage the drawing and you can have as many goes at doing this as you want. Um, I've gone over the edge there, I can rub that out just using the rubber, okay? Check the size, size of your rubber. And then just rub out the way you've made the mistake. So the loveliness of this is that you've not got to wait for the paint to dry or anything before you carry on. So let's make another new layer and this time I'll do the flesh tones. Um, try that one. Command plus to zoom in and then Up, make sure you've got the brush selected. I'm trying to draw with the eraser there. That would be good with that. So that's a bit big. I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller by pressing on the square bracket keys on the keyboard by the next door to the P. The left square bracket makes it smaller. The right square bracket makes it bigger. Okay. This means you don't have to keep on going up here and changing it. You can just do it while you're working on it. Holding and bind down the space bar again to get the hand tool to grab and move things. this side might be very careful here I'm sorry I'm just rushing this a bit get the rubber again what bits we've gone wrong paintbrush again actually with the paintbrush don't mix these two up they look exactly the same but they're not this one's 
the history brush tool which we'll come on to in another lesson let's just make sure you've got the brush tool and not that one by accident okay so I've got the basis of my drawing now uh, command minus to zoom out I need to do her hair so if I just make another new layer for her hair command plus to zoom in hold down the space bar gives me the hand tool click and drag to move the picture get a hair colour um, let's try that one Slide there. Um, let's come back to the dress layer and I want to pick a colour from the screen if I hold down the Alt key when I've got the brush tool selected if I hold down the Alt key it turns into a target and I can just click on the colour I want to pick and can you see it loads it into the foreground colour so I can just paint that hair slide now and then I'll do this little necklace as well. Okay, so good. That's just roughly done, very roughly. The beauty of doing it this way um, is that if I say actually I don't like the green dress, I want to change it because all the green dress and that little hair slide actually I've just done on the on the dress layer. I can come to edit, sorry, image adjustments. And if I want to change the hue, the color, I click on hue saturation. It brings up this um, menu. And I can just adjust the hue by sliding the slider. So I can make this color any color I like without having to repaint it. Quite like the, the deep turquoise, that kind of, that's nice. Click OK. And if I wanted to say actually her hair, I don't like her hair, change the color of her hair. If I select that layer and I come once again to image adjustments, hue saturation, and I can adjust the color of her hair. Obviously you can do some really strange things to her hair. Could be that we want to make it lighter. So if we turn the saturation down a bit, and the lighten this up a bit. Can we? So yeah, you can see, you get the idea. So by a combination of all these um, sliders, you can mix practically any, any color you can think of. Once you're happy with it, just click OK. The other thing I wanted just to show you was, um, if I wanted to add some tone to this drawing, Command plus to zoom in, I want to add some shade to the drawing. If I, um, I'm working on the skin tone now, if I hold down the shift key, no, the, sorry, I've got the brush tool, and I hold down the alt key, I get the target to sample that flesh color. If I then um, select it in the color well there to uh, mix it, and I can change the brightness of that layer, okay, just by selecting the B for brightness, and if I slide, come down the slider, that's what I have already. That's what I'm making, all right? When you're mixing color, that's the one you've got and that's the one you're going to make. So I'm just making a darker flesh tone. And if I click OK, I can just come and... Working on that layer with the paintbrush. Should be able to paint. Why can't I paint I'm on the layer? So I need to be on the flesh layer to paint, okay? I was painting on the hair layer. That's why it wasn't showing. So then if I just shade under her eyes, just under her nose, a little bit under her chin, to her neck.
you can be incredibly subtle with these colours, you know. I've been quite, this one's a bit probably a bit too dark, isn't it? But you can be very subtle. And then eventually all the bits that would be in shade inside of her hand. Um, shadow from her dress. Something like that. Command minus to zoom out. And there you can see you can easily add, command minus again, some shading to your drawing <coughs> if you need to. Okay, so that was um, turning an illustration into a, well, colouring in an illustration in Photoshop. Make the top layer the drawing, change it to a multiply, don't paint on the drawing, paint on all these layers underneath, okay?